Hello, saviors, and welcome back. My name is Savar24, and today I'm going to be continuing Undertale. Now, here's the thing. Last time when I left it off, I kind of left it off at this exact spot, but as you can see by my shirt, this is a different day, and I, can act and I actually had to start over from my last save point because I had to quit the game for other reasons. Um, and... I'm going to continue where I left off, so I pretty much had to do the Tory fight over again, and I I'm pretty much back exactly where I was last time, but I knew exactly how to beat Tori this time without having to kill her again. And I went through the conversation, I went through the little ruins passage and everything, so now I'm back to where I was with everything save for like two points of health. I still have no monster candy, so I'm pretty much back to where I was before. So there might be a slight time lapse between the videos uh, because of because you might as you might see on the save files when I actually hit the save button, but that's beside the point. I'm pretty much exactly where I was, and I have not spoiled myself. I just continued from my last save point and skipped the Tory fight for you guys. So let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, the creepy woods. We're back here again. Hey, there's a stick. It's a tough-looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Branch just broke. It's been smashed like it was nothing. But who smashed it? Hey, I saw that. Who was that? Hi, who are you? Human. Me? Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Uh. What? Oh, what? The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. What is this? Okay. His, uh, the tone to his dialogue kind of makes him sound like Patrick Starr, but I'm not going to give him that voice. Let's just give him something else, like, uh, <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. What is this? Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. That is very convenient. It's exactly my shape, save for the string hanging down. Sup, bro? Okay, so his dialogue, the tone to his dialogue, seems in, to be a bit more adamant. And that face on his box makes him seem kind of like Skeletor, so... That's the only thing I can really think of for this guy, so let's try doing that. You know what's up, brother! It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lid. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle. 
Boondog, really? You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work today. A skeleton? <laughs> but it yeah, that's great. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it! <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? I'm not really good at rolling my R's. Well, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. What up? <laughs> ah, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is with these two? Okay, you can come out now. <laughs> Just a conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> you wanna get going, he might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> what is this? Uh, what's this? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. You have any hot dogs? I'd like some hot dogs. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. You're going the wrong way, that's the way we came! Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, save point. Okay, so it didn't matter if I got hit or not, I was able to save and get health back anyways. <laughs> Those two are hilarious, though. Uh, tough glove. Hmm. I'll just hold on to stuff here for a moment. Alright. Oh, hello. Snowdrake flutters forth. Act, Snowdrake. Check, laugh, joke, heckle. Snowdrake, attack 12, 7 defense. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Better not snowflake out. Oh, snowflake out. So he does snow puns? Smells like a wet pillow. Uh, joke. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy to dodge. Snowdrake is assessing the crowd. Does he want me to laugh? Laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong. Okay. Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. Make an ice pun amongst the ice punter. Okay, I can spare him now. Twelve gold. Nice. Oh, I forgot to... Let's see. Tough glove. Tough glove. Like, tough love? Really? Weapon attack 5. A worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. I'm a five-fingered folk. I'll put it on, but I'm probably not going to use it. Um... Oh, take that back. Put the stick in. I have no need for the stick. Convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Okay. I didn't read that first. Or I did and I didn't realize it. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my phone number. You decide not to call. What? I didn't read the sign. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. I figured that. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. What? So, as I was saying about Undyne... Eh? Oh, hey, what's that? What the hell is... is that... <laughs> They're just spinning in circles. Sans! Oh my god! Is that... a human? Hey, look, it's a rock. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. 
Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is... is that a human? Yes! Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will! I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 Ahem! Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then... then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue! Only if you dare! <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep a nice suck it out for you. <laughs> really, Sans? He's just a punny guy, isn't he? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted century station. The dialogue is the same, that's how I know it's papyrus. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal godsman. Oh, here we go. Ice cap struts into view. Okay. Ice cap, 11 attack, 4 defense. This team wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. <laughs> ice cap, like, nice cap? What a great hat. Mine! He's kind of selfish towards his hat. Ice cap makes sure its hat is still there. Compliment? You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Duh! Who doesn't know? Okay, I didn't really have to do anything to dodge that. Ice Cap also wants a hat for its nose. Why? Okay, so nothing happened when I complimented it. I don't want to be mean, but he's really not giving me any options. Ignore? You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here! Oh, hello. I almost moved right into that shot. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. Let's ignore him some more. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine! I don't care! Don't give me that attitude! You know, he's just begging to be picked on. Ice Cap is deaf desperate for attention. I can spare him now, but... I wonder what else I could do. I wonder if there's anything more I can do. After I ignore him, I compliment him and... What happens if I was to steal? You stole his hat! It melts in your hands. I... I... Ice Cap is no more. I can only compliment him now? What happens if I do that? You inform Ice Cap that it still looks fine. So I can... So I can still impress you? Ice Cap doesn't mind its identity. Yeah, I like my hair too. I don't see any hair. Okay, well I guess I'm done here then. 35 gold, wow. Okay. Absolutely no moving! Why? Hi! Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. He's kind of assassin wielding those daggers or swords, or whatever they are. Check. 13 attack, 7 defense. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels! <laughs> Don't move an inch. Okay. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Okay. Pet. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet? Pet, 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 pot, pot, pet. He, he used a blue move while I was, uh, doing... So it seems like any move that is blue and tries to attack me, I can stand still and I won't get hurt. Doggo has been pet. I can spare him now. <laughs> that was interesting. S something pet me. Something that isn't moving. 
I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Anybody there? No! Because <laughs> I can't see anything that doesn't move, and I can't move while I'm talking on the screen. That's pretty clever. Someone's been smoking dog treats? What? He smokes dog treats. Why? Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine the stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Right. Stop signs are red, so, I am, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. And he says that in a yellow text. <laughs> What's this sign say? North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, Snowden town. And ice. <laughs> the comedy in this game is spot on. What's up north? Hi! Lesser dog appears. <laughs> the options I have is check, pet, 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 pet. So I have to pet it? Lesser dog. Attack 12, defense 2, wields a stone dodger made of pomegranate. <laughs> The dog puns are real, people. <laughs> pet, pet. Hi. Oh, hi. Get away from me. He almost jumped back into me. Lesser dog cocks its head to one side. You mean like this? Okay, let's pet. You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog got excited. Tiny bark. Oh, hi. I was not expecting that. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Pet. His head is going up. You lightly touch the dog. It's already overexcited. Pant, pant. So I know how to dodge that. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Yeah, pet. Pet the dog. It raises its head up to meet your hand. Pant, pant. Its head is getting higher. What? Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Okay, just keep petting him. You pet the dog. It was a good dog. Excited noises. Ah! There we go. Lesser dog is overstimulated. Pet. You pet the dog. Its excitement knows no bounds. Excited noises. Yeah, that's pretty easy to dodge. Pet. Critical pet. Dog excitement increases. Excited noises. Is his sword getting longer? Lesser dog is overstimulated. He's no longer even attacking me. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor revving. Okay, I may speed this part up just to try and move things along, but this is pretty weird. I want to see how far I can take this. You don't even pet it. It gets more excited. Plane takeoff. There is no way to stop this madness. Kettle whistle. Lesser dog shows no signs of stopping. Enters the realm of the clouds. His head is going away. <laughs> what? You call the dog, but it was too late. It cannot hear you. Far away bark. Hi, <laughs> here you go. There you are. You can reach lesser dog again. Bark. You pet lesser dog. His head is coming back down. Lesser dog is lowering. You pet lesser dog. Pant, pant. You pet lesser dog. Pant, pant. Is he just gonna keep doing that? How far can his head go? It's possible that you may have a problem. <laughs> his head is becoming part of the dialogue now. Okay. It's keep on saying the same thing. It's possible that you may have a problem. Pant, pant. <laughs> this is, what is this? Uh, this is weird. <clears throat> it's possible that you may have a problem. Pant, pant. It's possible that you may have a problem. Pant, pant. Oh my gosh, how far can this go? Okay, I didn't mean to check that time. Is the dialogue going to change once his head gets to the box? 
Maybe. Lesser Dog is unpettable, but appreciates the attempt. <laughs> it's the same. Unappre but appreciates the attempt, even though you can't pet him. Is that it? Oh, look, I see his ears. It's coming out of the bottom of the box. Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. <laughs> Probably. It continues. It, it continues. It continues. <laughs> His head is still going. Oh, that is hilarious. What in the world? I, I, I can see his tongue wagging, but that's about it. Lesser Dog is beyond your reach. Okay, as much as I like petting Lesser... Lesser Dog has gone where no dog has gone before. To the insides of the earth, apparently. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm done petting him. That was funny, but I gotta cut it <laughs> as short as possible. <laughs> what was that? Hello, I'm a snowman. I went to see the world, but I cannot move. I can't stop laughing. If you would be so kind, Traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Thank you, good luck. You got the snowman piece. Snowman piece heals 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. Heals 45 HP? My health is only at 20, though. You're so lazy! You are napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Huh? Oh ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! Where are they? I think you will find this one... Quite shocking. <laughs> well, you see, this is the invisible electricity maze! When, the wa when you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap! Sounds like fun, because... The amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. He's gonna get shocked, isn't he? Yep. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's leaving tracks so I can get through the puzzle easily now. Hold this, please. It's just sitting on my head. Okay, try now. Ooh, that was a hard puzzle. Incredible, you slippery snail. I gotta fix my headphones. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is, de it is designed by my brother Sands. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> he just like, Mew. backs out of the way. <laughs> Hey, thanks. My brother seems to like it. Seems like he's having fun. I can't talk. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? <laughs> he's weird. Hi! I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. In a snowy area, really? Oh! A customer! Hello! Would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Sure, I can take one. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. Nice cream heals 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, hi. So it does move. Um, where am I supposed to take this, though? It's like a golf course. Ah! Yeah, it is a golf course. Green! Your concern and care for ball led you to a delicious victory. You are awarded one gold. One gold? Really? What's this? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. <laughs> Pixel art, really? I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. 
Okay. Did I say five gold? I meant fifty. Um. Really? How about five thousand? I don't have. So let's see what I can do with this. Fifty thousand. That's my final offer. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> All right, what's up here? Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman white rating. Can become yellow rain. <laughs> Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. Green in red text. Hers? His. Like a married couple? But dogs? What? Human! I hope you're ready for... Sans? Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way he can get past this one. Monster Kids Word Search. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Okay, um, I don't think I can really do anything, so let's just move on. Sans? That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used the day's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. Easily the hardest? What? Really, dude? That's easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, Jumble or Crossword? Crosswords are definitely harder. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> okay, then. It's a note from Papyrus. Human! Please enjoy this spaghetti! Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap! Designed to entice you! You'll be so busy eating it, that you won't realize you aren't progressing! Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus! <laughs> Papyrus. <laughs> I see a mouse hole! <laughs> What's this? It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. <laughs> It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. Well, if you want to heat up spaghetti, that's pretty convenient. But it's unplugged, so how are you even going to heat up the spaghetti? Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. <laughs> Snowden, spaghetti. Oh, uh, this is just too good. This whole scenario with the skeleton brothers there are just... Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> as interesting as that was, I'm probably just going to have to leave it here. I tell you, the, the comedy in this stuff is spot on, and it's not, it is not letting up anytime soon. That is absolutely hilarious with those two. Sans and Papyrus are pretty, are pretty funny guys. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to leave the video here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I pray you will join me in the next episode. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.